good morning good morning good morning don't nobody say nothing y'all see me bright eyed bushy tail y'all see me up early in the morning get into it man how y'all doing this morning talk to me nice this morning man i tell you what it's friday yeah 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 how y'all doing this morning man it's your favorite online motivational speaker your favorite online personality it is your girl street poet thank you guys so much for tuning in um i do know that i'm a little bit early i'm a lot early actually how y'all doing this morning though double tap on the screen as you come into the live do me a favor double tap on the screen i need you to do me this solid real quick as you come in first things first i need for you to do is i need for you to say good morning to me after you say good morning to me let me know where you're viewing me from so i can shout out some of your areas Yes. What's going on, St. Louis? How y'all doing? Um, good morning, good morning, good morning, man. Coach up with it early this morning. How you doing, baby? How you doing this morning? I see y'all Tampa, Florida checking in on me. How y'all doing in Tampa? What's good with you? How you doing this morning? Big Texas is here, Florida here, California, North Carolina. Okay, okay, okay. Philly is here, Mississippi is here, Brooklyn, New York, Detroit. I see you guys, man. What up, Street? I'm in Columbia. All right, I see you, Chicago, Ohio, Virginia. All right, y'all pulling up. What up, Connecticut? Man, 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 listen, friend, come in with the blessing. Friend, come in with the blessing. Dropping the crown on your head early this morning. I appreciate you, Jamie. What's going on, Pittsburgh, Alabama? I see you guys as well. Louisiana, Minnesota, I see you guys as well. South Carolina, what's good, man? South Crack. What's going on, St. Louis? How y'all doing in Canada? How y'all doing this morning, man? Big Texas, man. Y'all know I love me some Texas. I just wanted to come on real quick uh, this morning. And one of the things that I wanted to really put out there, and I may have said some of this stuff before, but y'all know I believe in going back and reiterating. There's some things that I'm going to say on every single live video because it's always a different group um, of people on here. And one of the things that I really wanted to say this morning is stop making everything about you. If you are a note taker by any chance, I want you to go ahead and grab your ink pens real quick because that right there is going to be a note for somebody. A lot of times you're upset. A lot of times you're frustrated. A lot of times you're drained and you're feeling down and you're, you're taking yourself through a lot of different changes because you're making other people's decisions, decisions that they've made in their life. You're making them about you. And what I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Come on now. Let's put it in the notes real quick let's just just talk to me nice let's put it in the um, notes real quick it says oh man boy you started early this morning bless your heart baby yeah go ahead block party you should go boy i tell you y'all don't care how early in the morning y'all get it man y'all don't care <laughs> y'all don't care man y'all just get into it no i don't care nothing about none of that yeah gotta go how y'all doing this morning yeah i want you that's the first note that i need you to take happy birthday to you love happy birthday happy birthday good morning to everybody wishing you guys an amazing day it's your favorite online motivational speaker your favorite online you know what i'm saying and, uh, life coach man it's your girl street poet i need you to do me a favor real quick if you are a note taker the first thing that i need you to jot down is to stop making everything about you everything is not about you i want you to understand that and when i say that and i go deeper into it you guys are going to understand exactly what it is that i'm saying a lot of times we get upset a lot of times we are frustrated a lot of times we feeling down and we over there and we're taking ourselves through a whole lot of changes because we start to hold ourselves accountable for a decisions that other folks have made understand that yeah come on now talk to me nice if it ain't you i understand but if it's been you before say ouch and send a gift what do you mean by that street sometimes people gonna go some people in life what you gotta understand is that they're gonna always do what's best for them folks are gonna always do what's best for them they're gonna always make whatever decision that they feel as though is going to be beneficial to them whatever they feel like they can gain the most out of that's what the decision that they're going to make so when i come on here and i'm constantly telling you guys do what's best for you because folks gonna always do what's best for them what i want you to understand is that another person choices however they decide to live their life however they decide to move throughout their life that has absolutely nothing to do with you that's right and this right here might be a little bit more she said um, okay you calling me out friend I ain't mean to do that to you this morning but I want you to make these corrections in your life because as we transition into our new season I want you to be able to grow I want you to be able to evolve you know what I'm saying I want you be able to be able to heal and I definitely don't want you to be out here creating no false um, sense of responsibility to situations 
situations that you have absolutely nothing to do with you. Okay, so that's right. Just say ouch and send the gift real quick. At the end of the day, you got to understand that people are always going to do what is best for them, what is more beneficial to them. If they feel as though that they can gain more out of that, then that's exactly what they're going to do. That's the reason why you owe it to yourself. Hello, somebody. Mm-hmm. Yes, I see somebody already saying ouch. So I already know that y'all following right now. I got a smart group this morning, baby. That's right. We on yeah, we on the up and up this morning. Go ahead and double tap on that screen real quick. Double tap on that screen. She said, Wow, confirmation, baby. Go ahead and send me some love across the screen right here. That's right. If you know that message is for you, if you know that you've been taking responsibility for the other choices that other folk that made, go ahead and say ouch and send the gift. You know for a fact when your children go out here and they start doing everything up under the sun and you've already been warned them multiple times about not doing that. You already told them about that brick wall you already told them what that outcome is going to be and they go out there and they do it anyway and life leave them over there with some knots upside of their head life leave them over there behind bars life leave them over there laid up in the hospital yeah 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 then what we do we go over there and we start blaming ourselves for decisions that they made I know that's going to be a little bit too deep for some of y'all because y'all love to take the responsibility for other folk and their decisions especially girl don't talk about my kids because you know I love my kids and my kids is this and third oh baby you're gonna have to let that th be on dismantle that thinking right there because adult children be the main cause of some of y'all struggles yes i said it and i will not be taking that back y'all already know if you're looking for a motivational speaker that's about to stroke your ego you won't find it over here if you're looking for somebody that's going to tiptoe around things you won't find it over here if you're looking for somebody that's going to play nice to get along baby you're not going to find that over here i want you to understand that i am the motivational speaker that they be talking about i'm real i'm raw i'm uncut i'm uncensored I'm extremely blunt. I'm going to give it to you just like how it is. It's too many people walking around right here that's depressed, that's stressed out, that's going through the most in life right now. And half of the battles that you're fighting ain't even got nothing really to do with you. Come on, talk to me nice. Mm hmm yeah 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 everything ain't got nothing to do with you baby everything ain't got nothing to do with you I want you to understand it ain't got nothing to do with your teaching that's right you didn't train them up the best way that you knew how you gave them all the skills you gave them the techniques you already warned them about the brick wall you already told them that if they go over there you're gonna end up this this and this and they made a conscious decision within themselves to say that they wanted to go and do it anyway so guess what you gotta fall back baby that's right you gotta learn how to leave folk right where they at when folk get comfortable living their life a certain time of way when folk get comfortable being a certain type of way when folk are living their life and they don't want nothing other than what they've already gotten what you got to understand that you are doing yourself a disservice hello somebody talk to me nice double tap on the screen real quick and I'm gonna tell you exactly how that's right you're doing yourself a disservice when folks have already made up in their mind that this is how they're going to be and how they're going to move and they are okay with receiving the bare minimum you owe it to yourself to do what to give Get on through. Put it in your notes, baby. Mm -hmm. Everything ain't got something. Everything ain't got nothing to do with me. First note of the morning. Everything ain't got nothing to do with me, baby. Yeah, you made a decision in your life and you did what was best for you. And I'm going to respect that. That's right. You living in the way that you want to live. And I'm going to respect that. You over there. I told you about the brick wall. You want to run your head into the brick wall anyway. Okay, baby. I'm going to leave you right over there with it. You want to throw your life away. You want to do this, this, and this. After I've already warned you, then guess what? I'm going to have to leave you right over there where you decided to be at. Because guess what? I cannot allow me loving you to destroy me. That's a red pen note for somebody right there because you've been up all night long tussling with this thing because you felt like oh yeah well I'm the mother so I'm responsible for it I'm the father so I'm responsible for it if they don't do this if they don't do that then it falls back on me and the devil is a lie I'm not I'm not accepting nobody's responsibility on, on, on decisions that they made baby you better get prepared for those consequences that's all I can tell you baby that's right when you jump out in those waters you sure better be able to swim hello somebody some of y'all need to wake up this morning and learn what tough love really is we ain't talking about abusing our children we ain't talking about leaving them out there by themselves we're not talking about abandoning them we're not talking about not coming through for them we're not trying we're not talking about not trying to help them in life what I'm saying is that when a person get to a place in their life even if it's your child when they get to that place where they start to feel as though they know more than you when they get to that place where they're already committed to doing a certain thing and living a certain type of way as an adult you gotta step back 
back and step away because if you do not you will self sabotage that's right you will run yourself into the ground that's what you will do trying to help them you will destroy yourself trying to help them you will go outside of your way and you will drain yourself of everything that is good within you trying to help them you got to get to a place in your life where you let folk grow up yeah 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 everything ain't got something to do with you yeah everything ain't got something to do with you but i'm gonna get off I, oh i ain't even finished y'all i came on here a little bit earlier <laughs> yeah 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 because it was bothering me that deep i tell you what i do life coaching during the week baby and i tell you some of the things that i hear i just can't believe i'm not accepting responsibility for somebody else's choices you're not gonna put that weight on me yeah 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 yeah. you're not gonna put that weight on me whatever decision it is that you decided to make baby you're gonna have to suffer the consequences for it that's right ain't no need you calling me yeah Ain't no need you texting me. Ain't no need you inboxing me. Ain't nobody no need you coming over here asking me for direction. Once I didn't already had that conversation with you and already let you know exactly what was going to come from it, then guess what? You are gonna have to deal with that. Hello, somebody, and that's the conversation and that's the situation in most cases, right? And what we do is we don't respect our boundaries. Mm -hmm. A couple of y'all gonna leave the live, yeah. Anytime, anytime I start talking about boundaries and consequences, I, I notice that, you know, it starts stepping on toes. Some folks start to get a little bit offended. That's right. Go ahead and double tap on. Go ahead and double tap. I see y'all loving me down. Thank you for the flowers. Thank you, Steph. Thank you, Precious. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, you might as well go ahead and send me some love because I got some more. You might as well go ahead and send me some love. Thank you so much for the love, man. Shorty, I appreciate you. Millie, thank you guys, man. I appreciate that. Thank y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're not utilizing our boundaries some of y'all just now when i said that y'all was like you know what man good lord she all in my house she running up and down my hallway here she go on my couch here she is in my situation i was just talking to somebody about that just was over there at the job talking about that just was in church talking about that just was sitting down with my family and just was having that conversation and saying that you know now that yeah 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 these folks out here they're gonna always do what's best for them so you owe it to yourself to do what's best for you and you gotta do what's best for you and you gotta understand you gotta do that even if it leaves some folk pissed off even if it leaves somebody with some heaviness on their chest even if it leaves somebody sliding down that wall with a face full of tears at the end of the day what you gotta understand is that it's you first put it in your notes real quick baby it's me first it's been a lot of times in my life when I done valued everybody but myself it's been a lot of times in my life when I done loved everybody but myself it's been a lot of times when I done poured into everybody but myself it's been a lot of times when I done made sacrifice after sacrifice after sacrifice after sacrifice after another sacrifice but yeah for everybody but then had no sacrifice left in me for myself I'm at a place in my life right now where I am making myself a priority I'm at a place in my life right now where I'm owning up to my stuff I'm picking myself up I'm dusting myself off I'm putting myself back into the game understand that that's right I got yeah 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 I'm on my second wind right now some of y'all need to let folk in y'all life know that right now about you baby I'm on my second wind right now I know you counted me out and you thought that I wasn't going to be able to make it you thought I wasn't going to be able to come back from it you thought that that was going to be the end of me and that yeah 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 that's just how it was going to pan out but the truth of the matter is when I learned that everything wasn't a reflection of me when I learned everything didn't have something to do with me when I learned that everybody wasn't my responsibility when I understood that it wasn't my job to go out here and fix everybody when I learned understood that it wasn't my job to go out there and come through for everybody when I understood that it was not my job to be everything for everybody hello somebody come on love me down mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Life lessons, life lessons, life lessons. Go ahead, send me some love real quick. Send me some love real quick. Let's just talk about it. Let's talk about it, man. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Friend said, whoa, baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because see, a lot of times we drain because of the helping that we're giving out. We're drained because of the, every time somebody called, we go running. We're drained and we're tired and we're wore out because every time somebody got something going on in their life, we want to be the first one to go over there to try to help them out. We want to be the first one to volunteer our services. We want to be the first one on the scene. And at the end of the day, if you don't have boundaries and understand that it's okay get your notes out real quick if you a note taker you're gonna need this right here it's okay for you to be a good person it's okay for you to be understanding it's okay for you to be a giver it's okay for you to come through for folk it's okay for you to be there for some folk but at the end of the day you should always have a boundary what you should always have some limits you should always have some cutoff points you should always be able to say no and not have no feelings of regret or guilt understand 
that baby if I can do it then I will but if I can't then I just can't one thing's for sure two things for certain is that yeah 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 I'm learning now that I could be a good person but I gotta have some boundaries because guess what if yeah 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 because they use this thing of good people always be used but no good people without boundaries get used good people who know how to cut it off oh baby we don't get used we only gonna give you what we got to give I can give you what's on the outside I'm only gonna give you what I don't need I'm gonna give you what I don't need to run you down and ask for you to give it back whatever I give it I'm gonna give it and I'm gonna walk away and that's gonna be the end of that why because everything ain't got nothing to do with me put it in your notes it don't Everything ain't got nothing. Everything ain't got nothing to do with me. Everything ain't got nothing to do with me. I want, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to know that you ain't got to call me first. Yeah, sometimes I want you to call me after you didn't call everybody else. You ain't got to text me first. Text me after you didn't text everybody else. I'm in a place in my life right now. If y'all taking notes, go ahead and take the notes. Baby, that's okay. I, I ain't got to be your first call. I ain't got to be your first text. I ain't got to be the first door that you come knock on. Give me a break. Hello, somebody. If you need a break and you need to fast from some folk, go ahead and Put it in the notes real quick. I'm fasting street. That's right. I'm at a place in my life right now where you got to fast from some folk because fasting from people is needed. Sometimes you got to get away from folk. Sometimes you got to separate yourself from folk. Sometimes you got to fall back from folk. Sometimes you got to distance yourself from folk. Sometimes some of these folks you got to feed with a long handle spoon because the truth be told, some of the folks that you're connected to right now is the main reason why you're going through what you're going through. The reason why you haven't received your blessing. The reason why you haven't received your breakthrough, the reason why you're not on the level that you should be on, the reason why you're not growing like how you should be growing, because you're so caught up and so focused on what they got going on that you can't even go over there and take care of self. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get mad at me. I told y'all I had a live. Don't get mad at me. I told y'all I had a, a live that I, yeah, don't, go, baby, go ahead and cry. It's okay. <clears throat> It's okay. Go ahead and cleanse your spirit, baby. Understand that. Cry while you on the live, but when you get up off of here, wipe your face. Pick yourself up and understand you got some skin in this game. Understand you still got some skin in this game, baby. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Understand that anytime a person starts telling the truth about something and it moves you in a certain type of way, it's triggering something that's in the inside of you. You go ahead and you utilize that moment right there. Put it in the atmosphere. God, anything that's not for me, remove it, baby. Anything that's not good for me, if it's not beneficial to me and my growth and my development, if it's not going to help me accomplish my goals, if it's not going to help me stay in the game and keep me in position, Lord, just remove it from me. Go ahead and make that executive decision in my life. You ain't got to run it by me. You ain't got to get clarity from me. I'm giving you permission. Hello, somebody. Some of y'all need to go ahead and give the divine some permission, baby. You got permission to move how you need to move in my life. You got permission to remove whoever needs to be removed from my life. Why? Because you hear things that I don't hear. You see things that I don't see you already know the outcome of it so therefore if you already know that it's gonna leave me stressed out it's gonna leave me depressed it's gonna leave me with some knots upside my head then you got permission right now to go ahead and redirect my path hello somebody if you need your path redirect it says ouch and send a gift yes sir redirect my path yeah go ahead and redirect my path go ahead and redirect my path because guess what this ain't giving what it's supposed to have gave go ahead and redirect my path because one and one ain't equal in two over here in this here situation go ahead and redirect my path because yeah 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 it ain't giving what it's supposed to have gave and the math ain't just mathing over here it ain't coming up the right way go ahead and redirect my path and a lot of times we get afraid to say redirect my path or to remove certain things because once we start saying things like that we start losing folk in our life that we thought that we would live forever with hello okay that's too deep mm hmm yeah, 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 yeah. Some of some of y'all caught it just then. Some of y'all caught it just then and said, you know what? She going off. Yeah, she's snapping right now. I don't know what happened to Street last night, but baby, yeah, 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 yeah. I want you to I want you to understand everything ain't got something to do with you. Everything is not an issue of yours. Everything ain't, yeah, yeah. And, and some of the times that, that we over there and we're distracted the most, we're distracted by other folks' business. A lot of times when we over there and we're distracted, we're distracted because we're trying to help other folk. Anytime that we over there and we're distracted then guess what it's because we're over there doing things that we ain't got no business doing because we've gotten to a place in life where we feel like everything deserves our attention everything is for us to fix everything is for us to come through for and the truth of the matter is no matter what it is that you're doing in life no matter how it is that you're moving in life you have got to have boundaries you gotta have them 
yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta, you gotta have, you gotta have boundaries. You gotta have boundaries. Everything ain't got something to do with you. You know what I'm saying? Everything ain't got something to do with you. And I wanna, I wanna put this out here right here. If y'all don't mind, I wanna put this out here too. In these different relationships, oh y'all ain't ready for me to talk about it. Let me go ahead and double tap on the screen. Send me some love before I get there because I'ma probably lose some folks soon as I start talking about that. Go ahead and send me some love real quick. Thank you, Grandma. I appreciate you. Go ahead and send me some love real quick. Thank you, Just Low. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Millie. I think that's Grenade. Thank you. Wonder Boy. Uh, Wonder Boy, appreciate you. I love you as well, love. Yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because I want to get into this relationship part of it. Because that right there, that part was for the family right there. That's when you're dealing with those adult kids. And y'all want to take the responsibility for the things that they're doing. And I'm trying to tell you that even though that that's your child, at the end of the day, after you train them up in the way that they should go, and you give them the skills, the techniques, and you let them know what life is when they go out there, and start making these different mistakes it's okay for you to love your child to take care of your child to support your child but don't be over there holding yourself accountable for the decisions that your child has made you got to let them suffer the consequences so that they will be able to grow up and evolve a lot of times right now y'all feel like oh yeah well i gotta prove something to somebody i can't not come through for them because people gonna be looking at me people gonna be saying this about me people gonna be feeling a way about me because why didn't i do this and why didn't i do that baby i want to tell you something right now baby i can care less about what who who what and what they think over there as long as they keep that conversation over there you ain't got no business bringing it over here to me at all don't come and tell me nothing that nobody else got to say how they feel if they feel so strongly about it tell them to go and do it that's right go tell them to go and do it because me as for me what i'm going to do is i'm gonna mind my business over here because i told you that before you went and did it you gotta let folks suffer the consequences of their decisions you gotta let folk go through their own life it's life lessons everything ain't got something to do with you everything ain't got nothing to do Everything ain't got nothing to do with you But I want to get into this relationship aspect Real quick And in these relationships When folk decide that they no longer want to be with you That they no longer want to deal with you That they no longer want to build that empire with you Can you do me a solid real quick If you don't mind If you can't do it for yourself Please do me a favor real quick Can you stop blaming yourself for it I just ask. I just want to know. I just want to know. Go ahead, send me some love. Can you stop? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you stop blaming yourself for it? Can you stop blaming yourself for it? Can you stop blaming yourself for other decisions that other folks make? When they make a conscious decision in their life to say that they don't want to be with you, I want you to understand. Stop looking for fault inside of yourself. Stop looking for the fault inside of yourself. Some of y'all better go pick your phone up because I seen it when you threw it. Threw it slam across the room. Why? Because as soon as I let that come out, out of my mouth you know for a fact that that's what you've been doing and you've been doing it for months you've been doing it for years you've been doing it for decades trying to understand why they won't love you trying to understand why they won't come do for you and be there for you and come through for you the way that you are for them you've been over there taking yourself through the ringer trying to understand these folks trying to love these folks trying to show them and prove to them that you're the one for them that they should love you that they should value you that they should protect you and they should do this this and this but what I want to say to you is that a person that genuinely loves you, that wants to be in a relationship with you, they, 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 you ain't got to beg them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't, you ain't gonna have to beg them. You ain't gonna have, yeah, you ain't gonna have to beg them. Go ahead. But yeah, you ain't gonna have to beg them. You gotta understand that every time a relationship does not work out does not mean that you've done something wrong. It doesn't, yeah, stop looking for fault inside of yourself every time somebody make a conscious decision in their life to say that they want something different. Just because that relationship did not go the way that you thought that it was going to go, just because it didn't pan out the way that you wanted it to pan out does not mean that it was something that you were lacking stop blaming yourself for other decisions that other folks made they didn't want to be there and that's fine they decided that you weren't their person and that's fine they decided that you wasn't the soulmate okay that's fine they decided that they did not want to build that empire with you and that is fine learn to understand that everything ain't got something to do with you everything ain't got nothing to do with you it's okay that I'm not for you it's okay that we're not on the same page it's okay for us to agree to disagree it's okay for us to walk away it's okay for us to cut ties if you're not being loved correctly here go get your love if you're not happy here then go get your happy you should appreciate the fact that somebody's open and honest enough to go ahead and put it out there instead of dragging you alone 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything ain't got something to do with you, though. When they when they, they make a decision in their life to say that they want to be a certain type of way, that ain't got nothing to do with you. That doesn't mean that you're lacking anything. That doesn't mean that, oh, yeah, you you at fault or that you was, oh, you're not pretty enough or you're not have the, the right skin color or you don't have the right hair texture or you don't have the right income or you're not living in the right type of, of environment. Everything, every time somebody make a decision in their life to go and do something different ain't got nothing to do with you. Hello, somebody. Let's just put it out there. Because when people make a decision to say that they no longer want to deal with you, our biggest thing is we want to know why. Baby, ain't on the, you ain't even got to break it down to me. Two finger swinging. I'm halfway down the road. And guess what? And when you tell me that you better be prepared to stand on it. You better, yeah, that's right. You better be prepared to stand on it. When you make a decision in your life to say that I'm not the number one, baby, you better also know that I'm not number two neither. You won't hold on to me until you go find what you're looking for. You will not drag me along until you go feel like you found your happily ever after. You will not keep me as your void filler. You will not keep me as your something to do. You will not keep me as your, te your text button. Buddy, your phone buddy the person you will not call you call me to discuss the matters that you got going on in your next relationship oh baby i want you to understand that when you're gone you're gone one and done you up out of there ain't no you lose my number baby yeah call it whatever you want call me child it's all you want to <laughs> yes sir yeah 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 I, but, but if i'm not number one i won't be number two either though <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Won't do that. Won't do that. Not go. You're not gonna play me like that. I'm not. Fin I'm not about to let you play with me like that. Because that's what happens. That's what happens a lot of times. We get so obsessed with the fact that we wanted them to be a part of our life so bad, and we don't want to cut them loose. That we willing to even go ahead and separate from them after they done did all this this different disrespectful stuff to us. And guess what? You hold right on to them, and you try to be the friend to them. And when you're trying to be the friend to them, now you're forcing yourself to sit over there and watch that individual be in a relationship with somebody else and run to talk to you about it watching them be over there loving on somebody else and you'd come in to talk to you about it girl if you don't get out my face i'm not gonna play with you like that no ma'am mm -mm. read the title the caption everything everything ain't got something <laughs> everything ain't got nothing to do with me baby everything friend don't feel attacked it's just the truth baby it's just it's just the truth you know what i mean and i'm gonna tell you what it all don't feel <laughs> I had already said it was going to be a sensitive subject. I said that before I got started on it. Because, you know, you know the, the thing about it is I think the, the biggest part that we got to understand is that we got to stop taking responsibility for other people's decisions, you know. And, and that's, that's extremely important. And a lot of people, we don't talk about that enough. We really and truly don't. But we got to stop taking responsibility for other folks' decisions. And then every time they make a decision in their life, here we go. We go over there wanting to dissect ourselves we want to pull ourselves apart and we now we want to compare ourselves to other people and trying to figure out why them and not us and why was it this and why was it that and I've been begging you to love me for X amount of time and now here you go can go love them like it's nothing you know we start to belittle ourselves we start to second guess ourselves we start to make ourselves feel like we're less than and then we'll try to hold on to them and this part going to be the part that's really going to send some folk. And the thing about it is, the thing about it is we'll try to hold on to them. We'll hold on to them. And most of the time, the only reason why we're holding on to them is because we're still trying to actively do the work. So we feel like if we still hold on to the individual, that the longer that, we, that while we're doing our work and holding on to them, that eventually they'll see our growth. Eventually they'll see, you know what I'm saying, what it is that we're doing and they'll pick us. Baby, no. No, no, friends say true. I'm telling you, I didn't see it happen so, 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 so many times. Man, I, uh, friend, I didn't seen it happen so many times. I didn't seen it. I didn't seen it happen so many times that you will sit over there and you will pretend to want to be the friend when you really want to be in that relationship you will pretend to not care but inside you really do care you will pretend that it doesn't bother you but in deep down inside it really does bother you and what i'm saying to you is if they didn't respect you while you were in a relationship with them if they did not value you while you were in that relationship with them if they wasn't making that type of effort while you were in that relationship with them then please explain to me why do you think that it's going to make a difference once you all are no longer in the relationship once y'all are no longer have any type of title on it why do you think it's going to make a difference then and the th truth of the matter is it won't 
It didn't matter then, and it definitely won't matter now. Some folk won't value you until you leave. Some folk won't understand what it is that you bring to their life until you leave. Some folk, this is what they do. They play on your emotions. They play on your brokenness. They play on your vulnerability. They will see that you are broken. They will see that you're vulnerable. They'll see that you're going through things in life. And what they'll do is they'll pray on that. Understand that when I say pray, I'm talking about P-R-E-Y, not pray, P-R-A-Y. Understand they will look at that and they will go over there and they will latch on to you and they will do you more damage yeah you better understand yeah you better yeah y'all don't okay keep playing with these folks then some folks out here yeah they acting like they want to help you they acting like they love you they acting like they trying to be supportive they acting like they want to be a leader they acting like you know what i'm saying they just want to see people heal and see people grow but you got to understand that everybody ain't built right everybody ain't the same type of people and it's really some manipulators out here it's really some yeah some wolves and some sheep crows out here it's really some folks out here that are see you broken and know that you're going through things and know that you're not in a position to try to go over there and be in no relationship know that you ain't got no type of self-esteem right now know that your confidence is on the flow no already know that you ain't got nothing to offer nobody and they will finesse their way right on up into your life we finesse their way right on up into your bed we finesse their way right on up into your mental and before you know it now here you are already broken already going through things in life already feeling like you down bad and guess what yeah 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 and they're gonna take you on through it worse they, they about to drag you through it worse. Grab your pins real quick. Some of y'all might have it. Some of y'all don't. Grab your pins real quick. Get your pins real quick. Baby, life is already hard. I ain't trying to be connected to nobody that's going to make it harder. Put it in the notes real quick. Life already hard, baby. I'm not being connected to nobody that's going to make it harder. If you already in a position where you're broken and you're going through things, ain't no need in me trying to connect myself to you. If you are already over there and you trying to pick yourself up, dust yourself off and already leaving from a toxic relationship, just got finished dealing with with a narcissistic individual why in the world would you think that i want to come over there and be attached to you why in the world would you think that i want to come over there and start trying to build a relationship with you when your life is in shambles just like my life is in shambles the only thing that we can do is have a pity party together hello everything ain't for you uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That what the caption said. That's what I put up there. That's what I meant. That's what I mean. Everything, everything ain't got something to do with you. It just don't. Everything, everything ain't got nothing to do with you. It really and truly don't. Like it's not your job to fix everybody. It's not your job to come through for everybody. It's not your job to provide for everybody. It's not your job to be everything for everybody. And the moment that you wake up and you understand that and you set boundaries in your life and you start holding folks accountable and you start demanding more out of the people that you're connected to, you're going to find out in that moment who is for you and who is not yeah but some of y'all so afraid so afraid to have those uncomfortable conversations some of y'all are so afraid to address issues some of y'all are so afraid to to go over there and have to deal with that elephant that's in that room some of y'all are so afraid because y'all don't want to rattle the boat y'all don't want to mess up the peace y'all don't want to piss folk off y'all don't want nobody to be saying that it's your fault baby you better learn how to go ahead and tear that piece into you yeah baby i'm tearing your piece up at 5 a.m in the morning let it be bothering me 5 a.m in the morning somebody got some explaining to do I'm, I'm gonna need some clarity i'm gonna need some understanding i don't care what nobody say baby you be uh, you better make it make sense when it come through because if it don't oh baby we're gonna have a conversation i'm very big on communication baby that's right i want to understand exactly where it is that you coming from i want to understand exactly what it is that you saying and i'm one of those individuals baby i'm gonna ask you plenty of questions because i want to make sure that i'm completely sure why because i'm one of those individuals that live by what just just say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of y'all understand what I'm talking about. Just say that. Just say that. Because if you ain't trying to be in no real relationship, just say that. If you're not trying to have no real life and out here trying to build no empire, just say that. If you want to be just friends, just say that. If you're trying to just start your life together and try to do this, just say that. Why? Because that's going to save me some time, some energy, some effort. That's going to prevent me from overdoing. That's going to prevent me from going all outside my way. That's going to prevent me from overstaying in certain situations. Because guess what? Ain't no need in me. If you already let me know what it is that you're looking for and how it is that you want to live like your life and what you want to do with your life. If you already put it out there to me and communicated that into me in a way where you and I both know that I understand, then guess what? Now you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you in the clear. 
Because I told you what I wanted. That's you. Them your own feelings that you're hurting. I told you I ain't want no relationship. You came over here to me. Them your own feelings that you're hurting. I told you that I couldn't be the person that you wanted. But, but, but you came over here to me. That you hurting your own feelings. And some of y'all, that's exactly what you be doing. These folks that showed you countless times already that they don't want you. They don't need you. They're not invested in you. But guess what? You still holding on. You still holding on. Some of y'all done held on so much. Your hand just as raw as on. No what? Holding on. Just holding on. What you doing, baby? I'm just holding on. I'm just hoping that one day that you know things are gonna change i'm just holding on baby then hoping that one day they gonna wake up and see my worth holding on baby and just hoping that one day they gonna do this and they gonna do that baby i'm gonna tell you what if you want to see what real peace look like if you want to see what it really feels like to have your chest light if you want to know what it really feels like to have some joy up in your life if you really want to know how it feels to wake up every single day of your life with gratitude and praise if you want to know what it really feels like to get up on on a regular basis and understand that you know what at the end of the day I gotta love me first gotta pour into me first gotta make me a priority in my life and nobody is more important in my life than me that I owe this to myself baby if you want to know what it really feels like to be free then yeah I, I dare you to let it go let go let go let go I dare you to let go I dare you to let go. The, pro the problem is some of y'all want to be in control too much, though, so you can't let go. You can't let go because you want to be in control. You can't let it go because you want to be in control. And then one day or another, you're going to have to wake up and just say, I let me just lose control. That's what I do every single day that I wake up. I tell y'all what my prayer is. Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. That's right. Every single day, I don't miss a beat with it. I don't miss a beat with it. Understand that. Because every single day, I want God to understand that he can make an executive decision in my life. Every single day day if you know that business deal ain't for me then let it go ahead and fall if you know that this relationship ain't the one for me then go ahead and let it fall if you know that these friendships that i got out here these connections if you know that they're not really for me then go ahead and expose it go ahead and put it on the table go ahead and let me see exactly what's going on so i can let go and move forward in my life i'm at a place right now where baby i'm not even trying to understand i'm not listening to all of that that's right you ain't gonna talk me in circles not gonna be that dog chasing his tail not gonna be that hamster on the treadmill going nowhere fast i'm not interested in that i'm not gonna be one of those individuals that's over here that i'm working on my life catch this right here y'all the, the person that's always working on their life always growing always evolving waking up every single day and you're dedicated to learning waking up every single day and you're working harder on yourself than you are out here on these folks job and in these other situations you're focusing on yourself doing all of this so you think i'm gonna do all of this work on me all of this growing is healing on myself putting myself in a better position in life just for me to turn around and go over there yeah 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 i didn't had to do all this i did this in a hurry now i gotta wait then hurry up and wait type of mentality now i didn't came over here i'm giving you what you need i made it my business to come over here and and make sure that i was this person and that person i made it my business to make sure that i came through i made it my business to make sure that i was the individual that was on time made it my business to make sure that i was the individual that did this this and this and it was all in order and now that I didn't got myself together and I'm ready to love I'm ready to move forward in life I didn't did all of that and now I gotta wait what you waiting for street oh cause they ain't ready yet I gotta wait because they ain't ready yet. I gotta wait because they ain't ready yet. Oh yeah, I want you to understand that we're not about to play that game. I want yeah I'm gonna leave you where I met you at. That's what I'm gonna do. What you gonna do? Leave them where I met them at that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave you right there. I'm going to leave you where I met you at. I'll understand that right there where I met you at. Right there where you happy at. Right there where you complacent at. When folk make a decision in their life to say that they don't want to grow, you leave them right there. When they make a decision to say that I enjoy dancing with my demons, then you leave them right there. When they get over there and they're comfortable with their generational curses and strongholds that they have over their life, then what you do, I leave you right there. Ain't no beef. Ain't no drama. Ain't no back and forth. We ain't got to slam to each other we ain't got to go outside of our way to do none of that extraness i can just right there where you yeah right there right there i'm gonna leave you right i'm gonna leave you right there ain't gonna miss a beat i'm gonna leave you right there and the truth of the matter is some folk you just gotta leave right there it's not your job everything ain't for you everything ain't for you to fix everything ain't for you to understand everything ain't for you to be a part of everything ain't a for, uh, uh, for you to go over there and attach yourself to i understand that they're pretty i understand that they got a nice body i understand you like the fact that they got and 
ambition and they this, that, and the third, but yeah, it just ain't for you. And when it's not for you, it's just not for you. And you got to stop trying to force yourself into situations where you don't fit. You got to stop trying to force yourself into folks' lives when you already see that you don't fit. You got to stop trying to force yourself into positions that you already know that you don't fit. If it's not for you, it's just not for you. Everything ain't about you. Yeah, that, yeah that, that's just it. Everything everything ain't about you. It, it really, everything ain't about you. Friends say confirmation. If that's your message, send me some love across the screen. If you're getting what you need this morning, if you've been tussling with that all morning long, all night long, if that's what's been on your heart, if that's what y'all been dealing with, say ouch and send a gift real quick because a lot of times what we do is we hold ourselves accountable for things that other folks do. And I'm going to break it down just a little bit farther because I think I say I spoke on here already about the cheating, but I want to go right back to to it because it ties into what we're talking about right now and I want to speak to some of the women and I know that I came live earlier so I got some new people on here but even in situations when you're being lied to and you're being cheated on sis what I need for you to understand is just because a person make and I'm going to say it this way because I really want you to understand what I'm saying that just because a person make a decision in their life to say that they want to step out of whatever union that y'all have whether that y'all have a committed relationship whether y'all are just dating but you guys are only supposed to be dealing with each other one of the things that I want you to understand before anything else is this. When a person decides to step out on that relationship, on that marriage, of that situationship or whatever, that is a decision that they are making. It has, It is no direct reflection of you. For so many times, for so many years, I've always heard, oh yeah, if a person cheats, it's because they are lacking something in that relationship. If a person cheats, that means that somebody at home wasn't doing something right. If a person cheats, that means that the person at home, they need to step it up because if they step it up, then guess what? Their significant other wouldn't be calling my phone. Their significant other wouldn't be texting my phone. Their significant other wouldn't be in my inbox. Their significant other wouldn't be laid up with me. And the truth of the matter is that is very much a lie understand that yeah 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 put it put in the comments real quick someone said that's for the that's for the people that need it P tell them it's a lie it's a lie we're gonna touch and agree with y'all through comments it's a lie baby it's a lie stop looking for it like stop, yeah it's a lie it's a lie put it in the comments it ain't you baby i want you to understand stop beating yourself up over it it's not you understand that stop looking for fault inside of yourself it's not you understand that understand that it's a lie baby understand it's not that you looked a certain type of way it's not because you're you're you know what I'm saying? Your skin is a different type of color. It's not because you're not doing your job. It's not because of that. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Stop accepting responsibility for other folks' choices. When they make decisions to step out and do certain things, it has absolutely nothing to do with you. What it has to do with them is them and having left lack of self-control. Baby, that ain't got nothing to do with you, baby. Don't try to dump your insecurities on me. Don't try to dump your fears on me. Don't try to dump the fact that you're disloyal on me don't try to come over here and put your things on me because baby i didn't step out the same way you wasn't getting affection i wasn't getting it either you felt like what nobody talking to you you didn't have no communication if you wasn't talking to me and i wasn't talking to you then that was going both ways but i still stayed true i still stayed still i still stayed in place whatever decision that you decided to make you made that on your own and you stepped out and you done what you felt like was best for you you done what you felt like was best official for you you stepped out and done what you wanted to do and you did that i'm gonna be honest with you and i know that it's gonna hurt some folk feelings i know some folk gonna feel a certain type of way but sis i promise you i promise you you're gonna appreciate it later on down the line the fact of the matter is you stepped out and you done what you wanted to do and you did it at my expense you did it knowing that it would break me you done it knowing that it would hurt me you done it knowing that it would leave me with a face full of tears you you done it knowing that I would be up late night. You done it and you already knew what the outcome was and you done it anyway, which means that the love that you say that you have for me, oh baby, it's all a finesse. That's a facade. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, that, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, the thing about this thing called love is, like, I, I can't tell you how to love me, and I get that. I can't tell you how to love me. I get it. I get to see the way that you love, and I get to make a conscious decision within myself to say whether or not I want to participate in that love or not. And the truth of the matter is, if that's the love that you're bringing, I don't need it. If that's the love that you're bringing, I'm good on it. If that's the love that you carry, if that's how you're set up, if that's how you look and you 
you value life. If that's what you look at when you see relationships, then guess what? I don't want no parts of it because what won't happen is, one, you will not beat me over the head for something that you decided to step out and do. You will not make me feel insecure. You will not make me feel like I got to compare myself to other individuals. You will not have me standing in the mirror not being able to recognize myself. You will not have me out here losing myself. You will not have me out here not knowing if I'm coming or going. You will not have me out here feeling as though I didn't do something right or I didn't contribute enough or I didn't love you enough or that I didn't care enough. No, you made a decision to do something in your life and you felt comfortable in that decision thinking that, oh yeah, I will always be there. You did that decision. You made that decision and you thought that you wasn't going to lose me. You made that decision and you thought that I was weak-minded. You thought that I was gullible. You thought that I would go for it. You made that decision because you was betting on the fact that I didn't have the strength down on the inside of me to walk away. You didn't think that I had the guts to say, you know what? Oh yeah, well, I'm out the door. I'm two-finger swinging. I'm aborting that mission. The truth of the matter is you gambled on our relationship and some of y'all need to let them know and you lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you lost, and you lost, and you lost, because I'm going to introduce you to my peace. I'm going to introduce you to my peace. And when I say that, I mean my absence, baby. That's right. You go, yeah, 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 my peace, baby. I'm over here. I'm over here. My absence is what you're going to see. My absence is where I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you're going to deal with from this point forward. I don't have a response for you. Understand that. I don't have a comeback for you. Understand that. I don't have an email blast for you, baby. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to do that. We're not going to be, I'm not knocking on nobody's door in behind you. I'm not confronting nobody about you. I'm not inboxing. I'm not texting. I'm not DMing nobody about you. I don't care how sorry that your family say that you are. I don't care how much folks feel like, oh yeah, you falling off since this and falling off since that. That is not my circus, not my clowns. Ain't got nothing else to do with me when you make a conscious decision in your life to say that's what you wanted to do. Oh yeah, 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 baby. You better play where it's safe because it ain't safe to play with me. Mm-hmm play where it's safe because it ain't it, it ain't safe to play with me you can play a lot of places just not over here with me yeah 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 yeah. it's places that you can go and play i see places that you can go and play but just don't play don't play around with me baby understand that because the, the person that i am right now it, it, it's a brand new individual i'm not the person that i i used to be it ain't safe to play with me i don't walk around crying like how i used to baby that's the old version of me i'm not that person that i used to be that person that was so forgiving and always wanted to work things out i'm not that individual anymore I'm not that person that will send you not a double text, but a triple text. And then I got FOMO coming after that. I'm not that person that you're going to, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just not that person anymore. I'm not that person that's going to pop up anyway after you done told me not to come. I'm not that person that's going to be running you down for closure. I'm not that person that's going to be begging you to, for understanding. I'm not that person anymore. I'm just, yeah, I'm just, I'm not that person no more. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you know that you're not that person anymore, go ahead and send me some love. If you know that you're not that person anymore and that you're moving in a different, yeah, when you know that you're not that person, go ahead and send me some love real quick. Go ahead and send me some love across the screen real quick. Yeah, yeah, because see, sometimes folks get it confused. They do. They real life, they get it confused and they start to think that the person that you, that they met back then, that broken version, they start to think that that's, that's still you. And sometimes you got to wake, wake up and you have to reintroduce yourself to some folk. Some folk, they get so complacent in that. And a lot of times what it also comes from is... It's the fact that, excuse me, it's the patterns, right? It's the patterns. A lot of times it's the patterns. It's the fact that you've never left before. It's the fact that you never spoke up for yourself before. It's the fact that you never uh, handled that situation the way that you're handling it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not used to that. See, they're used to you being that person that's running after them. They're used to you being that. Yeah, it's the pattern, sis. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you. They get used to you being that certain type of way. And when they get used to that, that's the only that's the only thing that they expect from you. So if every time they lied and you stayed, every time they cheated, you stayed, every time they did something disrespectful, you stayed every time they stepped out of line and did you know what i'm saying did this that and the third you stayed and guess what they're used to you staying yeah they're, they're, they they just got to that place in life where they used to you staying and then their mind you ain't got the balls to get up and leave and their mind that yeah it, you just not built that way and sometimes you got to wake up and you got to show them not with your words you got to show them with your actions you got to wake up and you got to understand that you know what i'm responsible right <laughs> i'm i'm responsible for my life I'm, re I'm, I'm responsible for this here. 
Understand that? Put that in your notes real quick. Go ahead and put that in your notes. First and foremost, you ought to already have the um wrote down in your notes is that I'm not, you know what I'm saying? It, um, I'm not responsible for everything. Everything ain't every, yeah, I'm not responsible for everything. Cause some of y'all taking responsibility for any and everything, and that's not your job. It's not yeah, yeah, y'all taking some responsibility for how your grown adult children carry on. Y'all taking this responsibility for how your family is. Oh girl, that's just the way that they is. They've been like that forever and you know that we just accept them for that oh no you can stay that way but you're gonna stay away from me too i ain't got no problem with that you can stay just like how you are but you're gonna stay away from me you're not gonna come around me and make me uncomfortable because the rest of the family refuse to not invite you that's not what we about to do i'm gonna yeah y'all already know i'm eating I'm, I'm gonna eat thanksgiving this year again i'm gonna eat it at the uh what you call them at the golden corral because i already know them folks is not gonna invite me the way i carry on but because i'm not gonna play nice to get along with nobody holidays is coming up i ain't even worried about it i'm gonna go ahead and make my reservation yeah i'm gonna do what i gotta do because it ain't happening I'm, I'm not going to be one of those. I'm not about to play nice to get along with nobody. I'm not about to be tiptoeing around things for certain folk. I'm not finna, yeah, I'm not, I'm not about to do that at all. And that's what people expect for you to do because of the patterns, because you have been that individual for a very long time. So just because you've never said anything, she's talking about, listen, you in my business. I'm sorry, friend. Friend, we sharing the same type of business, honey, because I be having, I be having a girl, Golden Corral, you know, I don't care how much you laugh at it, I loved Golden Corral, I'm gonna go, I, I, I'm going, I'm going, y'all know I'm good for it too, for right, Golden Corral and Longhorn, baby, they good for me, uh, that, yeah, I'm trying to tell you, before I go sit up in somebody's face, when I know that you are not the right type of person, and I know some of the things that you've done, and I know for a fact that these people know as well, and they continue to invite you, and then think that everybody's supposed to show up, and not address the elephant in the room, that that everybody's supposed to show up and just play nice like you know what i'm saying you didn't just no i ain't finna do that i ain't finna do that <laughs> i'm not i'm not finna do that i ain't finna play that game with nobody no i'm not i'm not about to do it don't even invite me don't even don't even invite me don't that's, i'm gonna save all of us a whole lot of trouble don't even invite me go ahead and send my invite to somebody else somebody else who don't mind coming because it won't be me i'm gonna tell you that right now and that's how you gotta be in life you gotta understand that everything ain't for you Everything ain't for you. Everything is not uh, about, you know what I'm saying? Every time somebody make a decision or do something in life, I want you to stop always feeling as though you got to be the person to accept responsibility for how that person is moving and the things that that person is is saying and whatnot. Because people going to do whatever it is that they want to do. People are going to move however it is that they want to move in life. And they're going to do that. And, and, and it's nothing that you can do about it. And like I told you guys before on another live, I said to you guys before, I said you could be the whole entire package you really and truly can you could be loving you can be kind you could be understanding you could be the type of person that's willing to come in and you know what I'm saying do all the work and do this this and this but if a person is not going to respect you they are simply not going to respect you if a person is not going to be the be that stand-up individual then that's not gonna be for you. Says I'm um I'm such a people pleaser. I'm such a people pleaser. I needed this uh for today. Thank you for this message, Catherine. You are more than welcome and understanding that that people pleasing mentality, sweetheart, that will run you into the ground. Understand that you will never be enough. Never be enough. They will continue to always require more and more and more out of you. And the more that you go outside of your way to continue to carry that type of mentality, that type of thinking, I. I want you to understand that it won't just be people outside your family it'll be people that you consider friends and family members that will continue to take 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 from you that's that that'll be all they know but you're gonna find out the moment that you step back and you step away the moment that you start putting instilling boundaries in your life and telling people no and meaning it when you say it the moment that you do that it's gonna be an evaluation of the people that you're connected to you're going to expose in your life who's really for for you and who's not based on their response okay so really work on that and, and you know what I mean and you don't have to uh, broadcast it don't broadcast it all you have to do is secretly do it step back away from folks and see who come and check on you stop calling people first see who calls you see who texts you see who checks on you see who sends anybody to knock on your door you know what I'm saying see the type of people that you're genuinely connected to because I tell you being that people pleaser having that type of mentality boy it would destroy everything in you 
it really and truly will um i'm trying to catch somebody else's uh let me see let me see let me see yeah uh this is sunday morning sermon you better speak oh good morning to you how you doing how you doing how y'all doing man i'm trying to catch some um anymore I'm trying to catch the comments uh what's going on how y'all doing she says pay attention to who pay attention not to them lurking yeah you better know it like you know what i mean and that's the type of person that i am as well you know what i'm saying i'm i want to give i want to pour into cups that's also pouring into me i want to love on people that you know what i'm saying want to love on me i want to be around people that's you know what i'm saying not afraid to love me out loud and a lot of times you know what i'm saying there's a lot of people that won't be able to love you out loud that won't be able to really like you know what i'm saying my friends they always be like oh i'm a fan of my friend you know what i'm saying they always tell me that they was like yeah because i promote you they, they some of them say you know I, they promote me more than me i don't believe that that's possible because i promote a lot but they're like, no, I promote you more than you. When people talk about you, it makes me feel a certain type of way. Like I get joy in that. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about it is they don't know that I reciprocate that same type of energy. I love the people that I'm connected to. I love the people that I'm surrounded by and we pour into each other. And that's the type of connections that you want to have. You want to be able to pour into cups that are pouring into you. You want to be able to feel people that are feeling you. You want to be surrounded by the same group of people to know and to trust without a shadow of a doubt that if you are not there, they, they, they ain't got to come back and tell you what nobody said. They ain't got to come back and tell you the juice. They ain't got to come back and tell you the tea. They ain't got to come back and do none of that. Why? Because they shut that conversation down when they were there. They addressed that issue in your absence. They took care of your name and you wasn't even there. So it's really nothing to tell. Girl, I don't know what they was about to say because I heard your name and I seen how it was coming and I shut it down. We don't talk about my friend, baby. We don't speak negatively about my friend if that's a conversation that y'all want to have y'all gonna have to have that somewhere else or you definitely ain't gonna have it in front of me and those are the type of people that you want to be surrounded by those are the type of people that you want to be connected to people that can respect you in your face and behind your back that's just how that work. You know what I'm saying? Who else I got on here? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I love you guys as well. I love you guys as well. She said, this is my first, uh, my first being a part of your life and it will not be my last. You, um, you all in my relationship. Welcome to the video, man. I'm street poet, man. This is what I do. You know what I'm saying? On um, Monday through Friday, I'm on here. I try to get here at 11, but I got here earlier today because I got up earlier, y'all. I made it to the gym earlier. I'm super proud of myself because I'm always running late, but I got there on time today. So yes, this is what I do every single morning man so if you want to be a part then please do turn on your notifications so that you can come in and be a part she says um you're dropping nothing but straight facts thank you so much man i'm telling you it's life lessons you know what i'm saying it's life lessons she said you don't um <laughs> you done she said you done scout me today friend now you gotta stop it <laughs> you gotta stop it if listen i'm gonna tell you this right here though at least you are honest enough and bold enough to be able to accept the truth being able to accept the truth and being able to embrace it you know that's a beautiful thing because i tell people all the time it, you know it's never too late to change no matter what it is that you're going through in life no matter how bad things might seem sometimes all that's really required from you is for you to step back a little bit step back and ask for clarity step back and ask for revelation step back and, and start looking at people as the people person that they are and not the person that you really want them to be a lot of times we really damage ourselves because we we see so much potential in individuals we see so much potential in them we see that if they really try and we fall in love with that potential we fall in love with the person that they could be if they really put forth the effort but the truth of the matter is you that it's not your job to wait around on them to catch up it's not your job to go over there and say hey come on i'm gonna get you off the ledge today and it's monday and then here you back over there wednesday and then here you back over there friday and then now here you're back over there on sunday like no that's not your job you can't fix people that got to be a decision that they want to make and they're willing to do the work on their own but you got to also understand too when people violate your trust when people uh betray you when people let you down when people expose to you the person that they truly are you got to take accountability 
You really and truly do. You got to take accountability. When folks show you how they love and you still decide to stay over there and love them even though you see that their love is toxic, you're self-sabotaging. When you see that a person is a liar and you continue to deal with them and you continue to run yourself in the ground trying to find truth inside of their lies, you are self-sabotaging. When you're going outside of your way and they already showed you that they are disloyal and you over there still expecting some type of loyalty from a person that showed you that they don't have an ounce of loyalty inside of them. You are self sabotaging. When you see a person is inconsistent and everything that they start, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, but it never gets done. I'm gonna start it, I'm gonna start it, I'm gonna start it, but they never even get started. Matter of fact, don't ever even show up and you sitting over there with that false hope, the false dream and oh yeah, they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it. The truth of the matter is you are setting yourself up. You you are self-sabotaging. You are expecting something from somebody that has already shown you exactly who and what they are. You got to stop. You got to stop. You got to stop. You just got to move forward. You got to stop. You know what I'm saying? Um, she said, you're giving me goosebumps. I'm sorry, love. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Um, you have to love you to know when you are not being treated right. Respect is due to a dog. I definitely agree. I, I agree that you definitely have to. You do. You have to love you to know what type of love that you're looking for. That's what you got to do. You got to know you to know the love that you want in your life. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes in some situations, it's not that a person is wrong. It's just the love that they, uh, they carry is not the love that you want or that you need for your life. But that goes back to what I was saying as far as taking accountability. When you take accountability for your life, when you see that, instead of trying to make that person be what you want them to be, simply unplug respectfully no drama no chaos you're a wonderful person but for somebody else you can be somebody else's shit i ain't gonna say because they like to block my live and put up crazy stuff so you might be somebody else's this but you was my that and if that's not what you're looking for then you move forward you know what I'm saying? And, and and that's just that. Says girl preach. I'm glad you came across. Thank you. I appreciate, man. It's it's good to be here. Your um your individual love language. You know what I'm saying? What if you're trying to be a better person? What if, say, what if you're trying to do better, but fear is holding you back? Mm. Girl, y'all know fear is one of my favorite subjects to talk about, baby. That y'all know I, I I love subjects of fear. One one of the things is I tell you guys all the time, fear is false evidence appearing as real. It's not even real. You know what I mean? And what you have to do is you have to remove fear from your life and insert faith right there. You know what I mean? That's one of the things that I talk about all the time. You know, you have to remove fear and insert faith. You got to understand that life is going to be life regardless. It's going to always be something that's going to be happening. It's going to be always something taking place. It's going to always be, you know what I'm saying, um, unexpected blows, all of that. You know, you're going to experience some type of trauma, some type of trial, some type of tri uh, tribulation. It's going to be a time in your life where you're going to be in the wilderness. And to think that, you know, you changing your life or making a better decision to live your life in a better way to think that that's going to exempt you from hardship that it's going to exempt you from having to deal with certain things is like no don't think that it's not going to happen. That's 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 not the truth because guess what? You're going to be tried the most. You're going to go through the most hell. You're going to have to endure the most. As soon as you start trying to fix your life, as soon as you start taking responsibility for your life, as soon as you start going back and exposing all of your trauma and healing yourself from certain things, that's when you start to go through the most. That's when you start to hurt the most. That's when you really get to a place where you don't want to deal with folk the absolute most. Why? Because once you start pulling that stuff out, it starts really exposing certain things to you in your life. It starts really exposing to you all of the times that you really let yourself down. It starts exposing to you all of the time that you really played yourself. It starts exposing to you all the time that you really didn't have your power robbed from you. It starts exposing to you that, baby, you was giving up your power. You understand that? A lot of times in life, it's not that somebody is taking something away from us. It's not that. It's a lot of times that we gave it to them. I gave you my power. 
I gave it up to you. You know what I mean? And, and, and when you start working on yourself, you become vulnerable to these things. You're opening up yourself. And a lot of times, like that's even when we get on the videos, right? We get on the videos and when we start speaking and we're talking about things and some people be like, why does she say, say, ouch? Why does she say, say, ouch and sin to give? Why does she say this and say that? When you're saying, ouch, you're you're basically saying, street, that's for me. That's me right there. Let, yo, that right there, that touched something in the inside of me. I That resonated with me. That right there triggered something in me. I know that I'm guilty of that. I know that I've been in that situation. I know for a fact that I got it. You know what I mean? I'm responsible for how I feel. I'm responsible for my growth. I'm responsible for letting that go. You're taking accountability in that moment for the things that you're going through in life and saying, I'm saying ouch because I'm letting myself know that I hurt. That right there, that hurt me. Yeah, that right that, that hurt me. I'm, I'm acknowledging what I felt so that I can make the correction. I'm acknowledging what I felt so I can make the correction. So when somebody's saying something to you, right, and it resonates with you, and you know it, it triggers something in the inside of you when you have that spirit of conviction of, that's me right there, embrace it. Embrace that. You ain't got to hide from that. I guarantee, and, you, and it don't be just you. It'd be several people on there. Everybody be hurt at the same time. Be like, street, that's the that, that's the word right there. That's what we needed. And sometimes that's what people need as well. They need to know that they are not alone. That, you know what I mean? It's, it's not just you. You're not the only one that's going through. You're not the only one that's hurting. You're not the only one being lied to. You're not the only one that's, you know what I'm saying, being cheated on. You're not the only one being manipulated. You're not the only one that's being broken. It's not just you. It's really and truly not. And that's the environment that I like to put out to everybody. Even in my Thursday night support group. I want people to understand that you can come into this Patreon. My Patreon. Oh baby, yeah. You can come over here and you ain't got to hide who you are. You can come over here. Thursday night conversation. The floor is open. Speak on how you feel. Get the constructive criticism. Get the positive feedback. Get the account buddy. Let you know I me. Mean? Let's hold each other accountable for growing, for evolving, for living, creating a better version of of ourselves and that's all you got to do that's all you got to do friends say join the patreon you should if you're not in my patreon i don't know why i don't i don't know why i talk about that patreon every day every day i tell y'all the link right there in my bio the link right there in my bio you get a copy of all of um you get a copy of all of my uh live videos you get a copy of all my live videos they go straight to my patreon you get a free support group class mental health class every single thursday at 7 p.m eastern standard time you get the discount code so you can order t-shirts you can order my hoodies you know what i'm saying and you get a discount off of that what is patreon it's a um well i use patreon as a motivational app so basically it's just the same thing as uh tiktok facebook instagram all those different apps but instead um but it is where you guys actually subscribe to the content creator so what you do is when you sign up you sign up and everything that's inside my patreon is all motivational speaking the classes everything that we do so when you don't feel like doing tiktok trends and you don't want to go on facebook with the drama and you don't want to go through a bunch of reels on instagram you can simply go into the patreon and you can find what it is that you need i have like over a year worth of videos in there so you have so much so much material but show up in the patreon make sure you bring your ink pens make sure you bring your notepads because it's plenty of notes inside of there you know what i mean so that's what that's for so uh yes uh, but anyway, y'all, um, did I have anybody, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get used to going live with people. So anybody that want to come on, that want to add to what we were talking about today, uh, the subject today, we were talking about everything doesn't have something to do with you. Everything doesn't have something to do with you. Uh, and that's what we're talking about. And we're talking about, you know, allowing the people to go through their life consequences and stop feeling like it's your job to come back and, and save them from the consequences of life to, to come back and try to loosen the blow or lessen the blow. You know what I'm saying to their chest people got to go through things in life in order for them to grow and stop blaming yourself When people make decisions that they feel like is best for them Stop looking for fault inside of yourself and understand that they done that because that's what they wanted to do And it had absolutely nothing to do uh, with you We said when you start standing up for yourself, then you uh, then get retaliation for standing up for yourself How do you deal with that? This friend, uh, she big sexy. Let me tell you something. 
Anytime that you start focusing on your growth and your development, you're going to get some kickback from some folk. Anytime that you start talking about healing in life, you're going to have some folk that's going to feel a certain type of way. You're going to have some folk that's going to uh, get mad. You're going to have some folk that's going to be doing this, that, and the third. The best way to deal with those folks is not to deal with them at all. Once you state how you feel, once you let it be known that this is the person that I am, this is what I'm going to tolerate, and this is what I'm not, that's all that really matters. After that, step off I tell you I'll be laughing and I'll be joking when I tell y'all I walk off me a conversation but the truth of the matter is I will if those vibrations are not right I'm out of there I'm not sitting around no conversation of I don't want to hoard no negative energy I don't want to be surrounded by no negative energy if you got an issue with me wanting to be a better person if you got an issue with me wanting to heal and grow and, and revamp my life then you are definitely not anybody that I want to be connected to so the best way to deal with that type of situation is not to deal with that individual at all she says, uh, exactly. Get the stepping list. I tried to add. I had a person that wanted to add, but then she dipped. Let me see. I'm adding you. I think I am anyway, but you're not, um, coming on. Oh, it's Brit. You don't want to be live today. you be wanting to be live. I'll be seeing you on live. I'll be seeing you on here. Anybody got anything that they want to add to the video? Any, anybody got anything? Say, hello, great question. I love the response. Oh, you're more than welcome, man. I'm saying thank you for her, too. I know friend is like, thank you. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate it. Say, right now, I'm dealing with this. Right now, I'm dealing with this. And I told him up to this morning, take accountability. Okay, well, if you're dealing with this right now, that's the situation that you're in right now. And you told him this morning to take accountability. I think that it's time right now for you to start making some other decisions, though. You know, because at, you, you said that this morning but if he doesn't take accountability what are you willing to do if he doesn't step up to the plate and actually changes his behavior then what are you willing to do and whatever it is that you decide to do you gotta first make sure that you're willing to stand on it because anything that you say you know what i'm saying if you don't do it then he's gonna look at it like you're bluffing you're inconsistent you don't love yourself like that you know what i mean you're just saying something because it sounds good so be mindful of that as well but you know if he doesn't change you got to be willing to do something different Oh, yeah, you got to let go of, of other people's um, expanding boundaries. Boundaries is that thin line. Uh, for me, what I call boundaries is boundaries is that thin line that separates you from the BS. Boundaries is being able to know where you end and other folk begin. Boundaries is knowing that everything ain't got something to do with you. It's being able to give to people, make sacrifices for people, but also knowing when to say no, when to walk away, when to cut it off. Boundaries is also knowing that I can love you, but also understand that if you're not able to reciprocate that energy, I can love you from a distance. Boundaries is also saying that I love you, but if you can't respect me and the person that I am, I love me enough to separate myself from you. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about boundaries. We're talking about be, the, having that cutoff point. But if you want to get deeper into boundaries, you can actually book a life coaching session and we can go through what are the four boundaries that we utilize on a regular basis and I can set you up with that. I do life coaching Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays of every week. The link is right there in my bio. It says my boundary comes with consequences. Always, always got to come with some type of consequence because if your boundaries don't come with consequences, then it's just words. You're just talking. You know what I'm saying? You're just saying something. And guess what? They're not taking you serious. They're not taking you serious. They're not saying either because they know that you don't mean it. You know what I'm saying? They, they know that you don't mean it. You're just saying it. Because you, how many times have you said you're going to leave and didn't? How many times did you say you were going to walk away but still there? Hello? Hello? I think I, I don't see your picture. I just hear your voice. I don't know. What's going on? What? That's what's up. Uh -huh. Wow. 
Wow, thank you so much, man. I I appreciate that. Wow, that's I, man. I I really and I truly do. I tell you what, every every single time, um, every video thus far that we've come to, you know, what I'm saying this past week, I've had males uh get online and they uh, when they get on here, they they able to really like express themselves, and I'm loving that. I'm really, really and truly loving that. So thank you so much for um for listening. Thank you so much for you know what I'm saying all your kind words, man. And I pray that you continue to grow stronger and stronger. You know what I'm saying? And and understand that, you know, you can come back from anything. Anything. All right. Well, you had you enjoy the rest of your day, and I appreciate you logging on. All right. I got I, let me see. I get Yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. I know some of y'all were saying that y'all couldn't hear. I guess it was uh, the connection. I tried to let the windows up and everything because I was trying to uh, be able to hear it as well. But it's it's always a blessing, y'all. It's a blessing every single time. I love, I, I know y'all didn't get to hear it. Hopefully when I download the video, though, it'll be on there. But basically what he was saying was that he enjoyed the live videos. He, he enjoyed... Um, our videos and that, you know, he, he, he feels peaceful when he comes here. So that's always a blessing, man. It's always, always a blessing. Let me see. Uh, let me see who we got. Uh, okay. So we good. We good. We good. But with that, wait a minute, I, I got somebody coming. I think this is my girl. I did send, I did send on one. I seen her on here earlier. Yes. Please make sure you do join the Patreon, man. Make sure you do. We meet every Thursday, every Thursday at uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure y'all in there, bring your questions, your comments, you know what I'm saying, all of that good stuff. Bring it over there, man. And that's the stuff that we're on there and we're talking about all the time. Uh, yeah, do me a favor. Look, hey, look, <laughs> my, my mod is like, man, y'all got to send her some gifts. I know that's right, man. Y'all let me down real quick. Y'all send me some love. I'm trying to see if Ashley going to pull up on us. Ashley. I see her Are right you there. Now. There we go. There she go, y'all. Y'all tell me if y'all can hear Ashley. We couldn't hear the other guests, but I think we hear you. Y'all hear Ashley? Hello, hello. Yeah, I hear you. What you got going on, friend? Oh, yeah, they say, yep, they can hear you. <laughs> oh, girl, it's so good to talk to you. I loved your message. Thank you for Thank inviting you. me to come live with you. Oh, yeah, for sure. Why we don't yeah. see your video? Oh, girl, I am not in good reception right now, so my video is not oh. connecting. Oh, so that's why. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool deal. You got any feedback? Like, basically, you, well, you heard the message, and what we're talking about is a lot of times what we do is we accept responsibility for other people. We accept responsibility for other people's decisions and their life choices, and what we do is we'll get to that place where we'll start making excuses for why they are the way that they are and we'll start holding ourselves accountable for them and the decisions that in the decisions that they make and so you got any feedback on that anything that you want to say about that yeah i mean i've gone through some things in my life recently where i think the hardest mm -hmm. thing to accept is that people are going to be people and that just yes. in line with what you said is that it is not my responsibility to make excuses mm -hmm. or justify other people's behavior and their right. behavior and their choices. Um, they, you have to be careful about who you spend your time with because if you are linked up with someone, their character and their integrity can be a reflection of you. So when you notice that someone is acting out of step and that's not in line with who you are as a human being, that mm -hmm. you have to protect number one at all costs and protect yes. your reputation, protect your integrity. Because if you lay with dogs, you're going to catch fleas, <laughs> you know? Oh, so. you know, that, that's a, that a, we learned that early now. I'm telling you, that's what the old people used to say back in the day. They used to tell you that all the time. You, hey, you lay down with dogs, you, you, hey, you better be careful because you're going to get up scratching. Yeah. So yeah. I, and and the, the other thing too is is that I've learned mm -hmm. like especially kind of like what I what you're saying is that 
not everyone's supposed to be in your life forever. Sometimes people are supposed to just come into your life for a season to teach you something either, you know, to reveal an area of your life that requires healing or to inspire you to growth or to develop your own self love. And, you know, one of the biggest strengths that you can learn is to let go. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> yes. Just let go. Let yes. go. <laughs> yes. And that that's extremely important too. That's important because a lot of times a lot of times people don't understand that that is it's not your job to really it's not your job to fix everybody. Sometimes when you run into these people that are broken, these people that are going through things, it's to see if you're still carrying that same, you know, people pleasing, people fixing type of mentality. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you have to get to that place where you're utilizing your boundaries and understand that some people actually like staying in that situation. They like being broken. They don't want to mm-hmm. be fix and the reason why they don't want to be fixed is because they enjoy the attention that being broken brings them if you come over here and fix me nobody's going to be running after me nobody's going to be checking on me nobody's going to be coming in for this or coming in for that if you you know what i'm saying so you got to get to that place where you understand where you are being effective in a person's life and you're being a crutch in somebody's life mm-hmm. amen so i do yeah, yeah well I and the other thing too is oh go ahead Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. It's on you. The other thing, too, is that, you know, I think because I saw someone say, you know, I'm having a hard time letting go. And in line with what we were saying about seasons is, is that like my biggest growth seasons, my biggest healing seasons we're Mm -hmm. in what I call my wilderness season. So a lot of us are not okay with being alone. A lot of us are not okay with experiencing loneliness. And that's, that's a season that's required for growth. I mean, Mm -hmm. even in, you know, so many times, even if we look, because you know, you and I talk Bible all the time, right, Um, right. You know, when we look at like, some of our biggest Bible heroes, they mm-hmm. all required a season in the wilderness. And that's yep. where you get to know you. Yes, you can't find the love that you want and the love mm-hmm. that you deserve if you don't know yourself. Exactly. Because you'll never be able to identify who is for you and who is against you. Yes. Yes. I agree with that one hundred percent. And that that's one of the that's and I'm glad I'm so glad that she said that because what she's explaining is the fact that in order for you to know the love that you want, you got to know how to love yourself so that you will be able to identify that. Mm -hmm. And in order for you to be able to do that, y'all know my favorite thing to say is you got to do a self-evaluation. You know, you have to sit yourself Mm -hmm. down and you got to understand what is it that I want out of life? How is it that I want to live my life? What is love to me and what love looks like to me, what it feels like to me? And once you identify what it is with what you want out of life, when you see that those individuals are not bringing that, when you see the red flags, you see the drama, you know you don't feel that love that they say that they have for you. And that moment, we got to go back to what what she just said. You have to take accountability. Why? Because now you have to make that hard decision. Am I going to stay or am I going to go? Right. And a lot of times people don't want to go because of their fear of being alone. I don't want to grow old by myself. I don't want you. know what I'm saying it might take me too long to go find somebody else. I'm going to be in the house by myself. I ain't going to have nobody to talk to. They become so obsessed with just having that type of attention that they negotiate. I like to say negotiate their peace for it. You know, it's like, OK, well, mm-hmm. I, I, and, and to me, I think it's more of a distraction. What do you think, Ashley? I think it's more of a distraction. Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> it's, you so know, too. because the thing is, is I, I've said this in a video before, the worst time to go out and date or try and find a relationship mm-hmm. is when you are just beginning your self-love journey. Yes. Because you are not going to be agree. able to pour into yourself Mm-mm. when you're trying to pour into someone else and you're Not trying to make yourself available for them to pour into you and mm-hmm. you know self-love like if we actually understand love everyone automatically assumes all these beautiful euphoric feelings but the only way that you understand and know that love is present is when there's when there is contention when things are not going the way that they're supposed to be going, that's when you can really assess what love is and whether or not you're receiving it. So the self-love journey 
part of that is being able to look at yourself, understand Mm -hmm. and love and accept your flaws, right? All of them. And you're not going to be able to find that if you're trying to constantly impress someone and put your best face forward, you've got to be able to look at your worst face and say, I still love you too. And if you can't do that, then don't expect to find that from anyone else. Because if you can't love yourself, then you're not available to receive love from anyone else. Exactly. And that's the reason why we're always saying that self-love first, it starts with self. It starts with self. You have to have self love first. And 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 following with self love, you also have to have know your self worth. Because when you know your self worth, you will not attach yourself to just anything. But like she said in the stars when you're starting out your your journey with, with learning yourself and you're open and you're vulnerable, you have to be mindful of the people that you're connecting to yourself with because some people will see you and know that you're starting out your journey and knowing that you're vulnerable, knowing that you're not in a position really to love or to receive love, and they'll take advantage of that. So you have to be you have to be extremely, extremely cautious of that. It is not the right time to attach yourself. It's not the right time to try to jump into a relationship. It's not a, the right time because it won't be a situation. It'll definitely be I mean, a relationship. It'll definitely be a situation because you might be attracted to that person while you're broken and while you're not at your best. But as soon as you start healing and you start growing, you will see that that person is just not the right person for you. You know, so it, it's it's the worst time, mm-hmm. y'all. It's the worst time. Don't ever, 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 ever try to date while you're on that journey. Don't do it. I'm telling mm-hmm. you, it just, I'm, I, I <laughs> promise you, it, I've never seen it work. I've never, I've never, I've been doing this for a while. I've never seen it work. It always turned tragic. And when it turns, it turns and it, it just tears up everything. So yes, the best thing to do, and especially even when you are the person that's healing as well, because I want to spin it a little bit. When other people are open and honest enough to let you know that they're, they're, they're working on their spiritual journey and they just got out of a bad relationship and they're working on themselves, don't attach yourself to them. Don't try to full court press them. Oh, no. Don't try to yo know, inbox them. Don't try to be off in their face. Don't try to do that because in that moment, you're putting yourself in that situation where you're trying to be their distraction. You are preventing them from being able to grow. You are preventing them from being able to heal in life because now here you are, you know, trying to just don't do it. Don't do it. I be wanting people to leave folk alone mm-hmm. so bad, friend. You don't understand. When I see people that's really <laughs> trying to work, please don't bother them. Let them, let them work on themselves. Let them fix themselves. Let them do what they need to do. Because as soon as it doesn't turn out the way that you want it to turn out, both of y'all going to be on this social media app and y'all going to be acting crazy. And we don't need it. Because, you know, they, no, you know people, no. Well, and that, that's, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. I was about <laughs> to give you a question. I was about to read a question off to you, but I'm going to let you go ahead and say what you got to say first. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, what I was going to say was, you know, my life, my entire life changed. And that's why I kind of named my page Loving Single. Mm -hmm. is because I came to a place where I had this horrible situation happen with this man. And I remember yelling at God. And I said, don't you ever bring another man in my life to teach me a lesson that you could teach me yourself. And he, I heard him say to me, then stop trying to force your will over mine. Ooh. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> ooh. Lord, that ooh. one hurt. Like, yeah. Yo, you be Fred, that, that hurt honest. me. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt me. So I love uh, it. This, that, that, you know, and, and so. You cannot, man, I tell from you. From now what. on, and like, that's. <laughs> that is like my biggest prayer now is like anyone that comes into my life is where God is teaching me to simply trust him that what is for me will always be for me. And if God has closed a door, no man can open it. And if he Mm -hmm. has opened a door, no man can shut it. So if someone is for me and they're not in a season that's ready, if I can, Mm -hmm. if I'm like, oh, they are not ready yet, then I can sit patiently and confidently knowing that Mm -hmm. when the time is appropriate, We'll right. come into each other's lives and it'll be beautiful because if we want healthy relationships, yes. then both people require healing. There you go. And, and so that's what I'm just learning is don't you force anything 
And, and if it's not the right time, then that's extra time that we get to invest in ourselves and, and really just it. focus on our goals, our dreams, our growth. I love it. Y'all, first of all, I'm smiling from ear to ear like this. Number one, um, Ashley was doing life coaching with me, right? So it makes me so happy, like just being able to listen to her and listen to the things that she puts out because it, man, it, it is amazing. I don't care what nobody say. You always feel like that proud parent when you, when you have your people and they like, yo, I got this now. I want you to know I got this. I know what I'm doing. I know how I'm moving. I'm growing over here. I love it, man. Friend, I am so, so, so proud of you, man. I really and truly am the way that you're answering these answers and really like, I love it. I love it i love it but i got one question somebody asked this says what do you do when people in the church turn on you and i think that'll be a good question for you Ooh, well first of all i gotta give you a quick shout out because you are the best life coach like i thank y'all you. if thank you have you. not signed up for coaching with street you absolutely must um thank you. because there's nothing better than a coach that will speak the truth in love even if it's hard truth so I gotta put that out there real quick since you brought that up um <laughs> so <clears throat> when <laughs> when people in the church turn on you here's the number one thing that I'm learning is that my my calling with my faith and my walk with Christ the mm -hmm. number one thing is that the, the number one commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind and love your neighbor as yourself. So if we actually understand Christ's love and the love that we're supposed to have for people mm -hmm. and understanding that, first of all, there's wolves in sheep's clothing everywhere. And that the tactic of any enemy, whether it's a narcissist, an abuser, or even within the church is to cause di division, disruption, yes. and to disrupt your relationship with God. And so, you know, I, I think like I've met a lot of really horrible people in the church who yeah, honestly it's frustrating because they give, they give the church, they give faith, they give God a bad name. Um, but my job is, is not to return retaliation because after all, God says vengeance is mine. So you know, right. my job is to offer love and grace and mercy, but to also say, like, bet, I like noted, <laughs> you know, right. like noted, right. that's who you are. That's how you operate. Right. I don't have to interact with you, but it doesn't mm -hmm. have to disrupt my ability to be in church or to be around people, or it doesn't have to disrupt my walk with God. But yes. once I see someone's real colors... Yes. Like snip, snip, goodbye. Like I don't owe you anything. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of people talk about, <laughs> a lot of people talk about forgiveness and the way that I explain forgiveness is forgiveness is nothing more than releasing. So, yes. you know, it, for even my abusive ex, um, you know, w when I talk about like, have you forgiven him, Ashley? Yeah, I've forgiven him by way of saying, I release you. I let go and let God deal with you now. Like I have exactly. no attachment to you. That's none of my business. Mm -hmm. And it's the same way with people in the church. So I don't know if yes. you have anything to add to that, but I'd love to hear Ooh, it. You know what? I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. This is, this is what I love. So any other life coaches, mental coaches or anything like that, if you guys want to go live, like on Fridays, we can do the collaborations and whatnot. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get used to like doing things with other coaches as well, because one of my biggest things is that I want to set people up for success and I don't want people to ever feel like that my way or my thinking is the only way you know because sometimes you know I, I know how I come off I'm, I'm very aggressive I'm very passionate about what I think and what I feel but what I do and how I move it may not always be beneficial so what I'm trying to do now is I want to create a platform where people can get a little bit of everything you know what I mean so that's that was the reason why I wanted to add Ashley because I wanted you know what I'm saying some of my, my other people that y'all be listening and y'all like yo street that's just too hardcore for me right now ashley has a way of saying the same exact thing that i say but she says <laughs> in, a, in a different way and we just mesh well together and we noticed this while we were while she was doing her sessions with me that we are our life and our lifestyles and everything that we've done you know just coming up without even knowing each other you know it was just so parallel so definitely, um, we're, we're going to actually be setting up some stuff um, in the future where we're going to be doing some more live collabos, you know what I'm saying, whether it's on Instagram or TikTok. So you guys will be getting more from um, Ashley, but her name on uh, TikTok is Living um, Loving Single. 
You guys, make sure you go follow and support her as well. Make sure you go and show her some love as well. Because like I said, you know, it's it's not a lot of people that you will see me connect with. It's not a lot of people that you will see me around. She say, uh, Ash has a softer approach, but sounds like you. you. And that's why I started. That's why I was laughing when she was talking. But she... It's, it's just the way, <laughs> listen, you can tell when, you can tell when my people have been around me because they're going to say, they, they say some of the same things that I say, but they're going to put their own little thing to it. And I'm the type of person where I don't care how you get the message. As long as you get the message, there's a difference in between a leader, a person that's in that, that role to say, I want to help people and a person that's just like, oh yeah, I want to be famous. I just want to be by myself. No, my job is to be effective. My job is to create an environment that help people that teaches people that they can come back from anything to show you guys that nothing is off limits to you to show you that you can come out of these broken marriages these broken relationships that you don't have to spend the rest of your life being sad being depressed that you can get out of that and i want to be connected to people that share that same type of thought and actually happens to be one of those people so most definitely make sure you support her as well and pour into her as well Thank you so much, Ashley, for being a part. And um, like I said, we'll we'll link yeah, up because we you. definitely got to do some more stuff together. I appreciate you, friend. Yeah, you too. And y'all, if you have not signed up for Streets Patreon, you have to go there. There's, I mean, everything that she offers is incredible. Um, it's it's worth it. It's worth its weight in gold. Sign up for life coaching if you can, because there's nothing better than having one on one time with street and and really Thank being you. able to invest like investing in your self growth is the best invest for skincare so <laughs> listen friend i so, tell them I that all you, the time i say i tell them that all the time i say hey y'all you got to understand that your mental health it is just as important as the car that you drive as the house that you live in because you can have all of that stuff and still be be unhappy mike Hooter, how are you, y'all guys? Listen here, I was on a podcast, um, I want to say about two weeks ago, and Mike was actually, um, it was his podcast that I was a guest on. Mike, if you want to um, come on to the live and kind of like give them the handles of um, how they can find that podcast of uh, you and I, you can do so. You can just send me an ad and I can add you real quick. But real cool guy, man, the interview was definitely uh, amazing. I did post it on my Facebook, but if you have the links with you right now, Mike, you can send me an ad and I'll add you. Ashley, thank you so much for coming on once again. I love Love you so much and i'll be getting back in touch with you okay yes ma'am i love you too thanks for bringing me up you guys have a wonderful day All right, guys. So we are back. She said, um, I live in my I live in my dream house and still got depressed and back from it. Now, I'm telling you, and that's why I tell people that all the time, like, you know, what I'm saying, you know, a lot of times we be out here and you'll see people that will be like, oh, yeah, I'm chasing a bag. I want a bag. I want a bag. I want a bag. But you can have the biggest bag, but still be depressed. You can have the nicest clothes and still be depressed. You can have the nicest car, all of these things. But that materialistic stuff, it will not bring you peace. You got to get to that place in your life where you understand understand that you know what I mean your mental health is extremely important your mental health should be the top thing on your list of things that I gotta invest in things that I gotta do you know so for those of you like she said if you haven't signed up for the Patreon please make sure you go and do so for those of you who are saying hey I can't afford life coaching right now that's the reason why I do the Thursday night uh, support group inside the Patreon the Patreon is only $10 right so the reason why I do that Thursday night support group is to create a platform where you guys are able to come and bring your questions bring your comments bring the things that have been bothering you so that you know we can do it one thing at a time one thought at a time one task at a time you know and we can slowly work through everything and we can all heal and we can grow and we can love on each other throughout that process because a lot of times you know we will get that like um, Ashley was speaking about that loneliness when you start to have that loneliness one of the things that I try to keep you guys away from is allowing that loneliness Loneliness to have you, re, you know, reconnect with people that you already know is not beneficial to you. You know what I mean? So we try to create a platform where you guys are able to come. You know what I'm saying? You're able to listen to the motivational speaking. You're able to take the classes. You're able to come to support group on Thursdays, all of that good stuff. So you're constantly, your week is filled with motivation. Your week is filled with ministry. Your week is filled with journaling, um, learning how to breathe, learning how to meditate, learning how to release, learning how to let go 
you know, of different things, you know, and I feel like the Patreon is, is worth it. You know, it's worth it. So um, he said, if you're uh, saying no material game will be, okay, let me see. Uh, let me see. I have a, my podcast is on Anchor. It's on Anchor, guys. The podcast is on Anchor. So that's what's happening to me. My biggest mistake, I I bet I did stay lonely. Yeah, but it's it's it's, it's about like when when you get to that place where you are experiencing that loneliness, it's all about learning how to really like utilize your time. You know what I'm saying? I, I remember when I first started my journey. Um, we said, uh, I don't see it, Mike. Hold on, I don't see it on here. Let me go back. Let me go back. Boom. I, wait a minute. I'm I'm trying to add you right now. It's on Spotify and Apple Street. Oh, okay. It's on my podcast. Is on Spotify and Apple, y'all. All right. So we're gonna bring. Are we gonna bring Mike on real quick? I was a guest on Mike's podcast. Um, she said I. I just want to say thank you. You're more than welcome, sweetheart. And I didn't see your comment at first. Um, oh my nail color. There it is, y'all. One of my supporters, Brittany. Brittany Boone, man, I, I don't know if she just sensed that coach needed a day out or whatever, but she sent me a little cash app, baby, you know what I mean, and sent me to get my nails done. I got my nails done, my toes done, and I went to um, Longhorn. So, you know, I had me a little self-care date because she told me to go do something nice for myself. So that's exactly what I did. Okay, Mike, are you here? Thank you. I love you. Hey, what's up? What's up, hey Queen? There, What's going on, man? Listen, y'all. This guy, <laughs> I love, I love his podcast. Cause y'all think I'm raw, he's raw too. Don't let him fool you. He's raw too. What's going on, Mike? Hey, red or orange Nikes today? <laughs> actually, <laughs> I, actually, I just went and bought some, and they are white, and they have an orange check on them. That's why I started laughing. They, 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 got an orange, they got an orange check on them, so you know me way too well. And what's crazy is we was in we was in support group last night, and when we was in support group, this is what they were talking about. They was talking about um what kind of shoes you went and got. I know you got some shoes. I'm like, you know, y'all stop acting like y'all know me. <laughs> How's everything going That's on so your funny. end? Well, uh, uh, everything's good. I just had a uh, historic uh, Olympian on the podcast, my other podcast, um, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, I'm about social injustice and equality, you know, but the one thing that you and I talked about that, that I think is a little bit different, you talk about life coaches like I am having sort of a different angle and, you know, you're very transparent about your trauma. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is the one guest that I had on my Healthy Living with Hoot podcast about you know talking about trauma the anxiety doctor uh -huh. and you know i think it was good because you were even you know listening to me about what he had to say mm -hmm. sort of a different perspective you know taking into consideration the physical trauma that somebody actually went through because not everybody can think their way through their problems and sure. so you know we sort of incorporated that into the podcast and, and i think it resonated with you and so, you know, I learned a ton from you just based on what you shared with me. I couldn't even believe what you shared with me. Mm -hmm. And if anyone's interested, they can just go to my link tree in my, you know, in my uh, bio. But it's more it's more about serving. And that's what we talked about is just serving others and helping people right. be a better version of themselves. Right. And the thing that I thought about with your last guest with a woman uh, about people that turn against you in the church, mm -hmm. I just thought, of, uh, you know, when someone's not vibrationally and energetically in alignment with you, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter if they're in the grocery store or in church or, or pulling up next to you in your car if they're sure. not in alignment with you they're going to feel threatened by you and they're not going to you know want to align with you because they're not ready exactly that's true that's very that's very that's very much true and a lot of times you know especially when you're collabing with certain people or dealing with certain people too you know you, you have to also make sure that y'all goals align that you guys both want the same exact thing because you know what i'm saying you you can't work with everybody you can't be connected to uh everybody you know what i'm saying like you have to make sure that you know you both have the same vision and y'all on the same page so um i think that my answer to it is i mean i think you and i have talked a little bit about um about church and stuff as, as well on the podcast i think you asked me something about church um i'm one of the people i'm one of the people that you know I've experienced a lot of hardship in church. You know, I've, I've, I've 
got my first heartbreak from church. I got the first altercation that I had, you know what I'm saying? Real life altercation, all of that came from church as well. So, um, you know, you can definitely have a, your outside relationship with God. It's not necessarily that I don't feel like I have to be inside of that environment or around people that I choose not to, to socialize with or to be around in order for me to have a relationship. And, and I live by that every day. Like, you know, I, I think I told you even on a podcast, I'm a strong believer in the Bible was the, probably one of the best self-help books that I've ever read you know I don't read it like how everybody else read it to be judgmental or to try to degrade people or try to make people feel as though they are less than when I read it I read it and it you know what I mean it teaches me about me how to you know have faith and how to trust myself and the person that I am so I think you know a lot of times you know people feel the way that they feel about the church because they focus more on the people than they do on themselves when they come into the church. And I think that that's where your focus need to be. You know what I mean? Really on the word and not so much as, you know, the other people that's there, because you're going to have people that you don't want to be around. You're going to have them all your life. They're going to be everywhere. You know, it's kind of hard to get away from that. But um, y'all, Mike said the, the, the link, is on his link tree. So you guys make sure you go and check out his podcast. Um, I was featured on there a couple of weeks ago, about two weeks ago. So make sure y'all click that link that's in his bio as well. Go check out the podcast. He asked some really, really, really good uh, questions, some really deep questions too. So y'all make sure y'all go on there and, um, and support that as well. Mike, is there anything that you wanted to leave them with? I was going to ask you, can you still hear me? Yeah, I can. Now, at first, it was it was like giving me some uh, moments of silence over here. I was over here sweating. <laughs> What's going on? Well, I have you ever encountered someone in church who pushed back, but then all of a sudden, because of your love and your concern for them, then they let their down and then started crying and then they were like thank you so much for loving me even when i was mean to you because i just always have my guard up because i've been burned so many times in my life but you showed me love even when i was being mean and like then they just started crying and just let it all out okay because it's break it's um on your end it's breaking up it's breaking up really bad so um you said have i have you have i ever been in a situation um yeah i know y'all I'm, I'm trying to get the audio i don't know it's saying that his your audio is really really bad hold on it's saying lost connection let's try to get it back let's try to get it back yeah let's try to get it back come back audio i'm trying to get the audio back real quick can you guys hear now Oh, okay. So it's not on my side. All right. So I, I think what he was asking, had I ever had somebody that, um, oh, okay. It's on his side. Look, okay. All right, babe. So I think what he was asking is, have I ever been in a situation where, you know what I'm saying? I was loving somebody that wasn't in a position where they were able to love me back. So it was extremely mean to me. He said, he, he said, have you been in a situation in the church where you were trying to help somebody and Okay, well, where's the rest of it, Janita? You, you sent me part of it. Okay, well, I'll, I'll get with Mike and we'll figure out what his uh, question was. But I'm going to say this. I have been in situations, I'm not going to say necessarily the church, where I was actually good to people and I was good to that individual despite the way that they treated me. I was still, you know, still a loving person, still a kind person. Because one of the things that I've, I've learned in my life is this right here, y'all. And, you know, and it may work for some of y'all, but I'm going to tell you, this is just how I am. I never let another person change my core person, if that makes sense. You can write that in your notes real quick. I, I would never let another person change my my core person you feel me and the reason why i say that is i'm gonna always be good understand that i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna always be a good person i'm not gonna let you stop me from being a good person you know what i'm saying the only thing that you can stop is me being good to you 
You know what I'm saying? I'm going to forever be a good person. I'm going to always show love. I'm going to always show support. I'm going to always show up and do the things that I need to do for who the people that I love and the people that love me. But at the same time, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to throw my pearl to the swine. I'm not going to love you while what love you and, and try to help you while you're trying to destroy me. But that goes back into what we were talking about as far as boundaries. I have boundaries in place in my life, so I'm not going to overstay my welcome. I'm not going to overstep my boundaries. I'm not going to stay in situations longer than what I need to stay in because of, you know what I'm saying? I'm not being treated correctly. I'm not being respected. I'm just not going to do that to myself. But in the sense of, you know what I'm saying? Letting a person change me from being a good person because of the way that they treated me, I'm not going to do it. You're going to have to watch me love somebody else. That's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to watch me go and have with them the same thing that I was trying to have with you. And when I pick the wrong friend, I'm going to have to go pick another the friend because that's my divine right to make me another choice but i will not allow you to destroy the goodness that i carry i won't let you dim my light i won't let you make me this bitter person this angry person i'm not gonna let anybody pour that on me not at all he said um when he was mean you didn't mean to be the way he did this is perez from atl says uh he said he was mean to you he didn't mean to be that way and this is perez from atl oh i listen i'm gonna tell you something i don't know who was mean to me okay let me tell you that i don't know who was mean to me let me tell you why because honestly I don't like, I don't remember you being me, but it's very hard for me to pick up on, on that anyway, because I'm so aggressive and so passionate about stuff anyway, that a lot just don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff don't bother me. And, and I don't even put focus into negative. You feel me? Like I focus a lot on the positivity. I got people that dislike me. I got people that don't support me. I got people that may not be on board with what it is that I'm doing or understand what it is that I'm doing. And at the same time, I don't worry about that. What I worry about is the people that's pouring in. What I worry about is the people that's supporting. I don't put my energy into nothing negative. I don't give life to nothing negative. I don't do any of that. I'm I'm genuinely, and I can stand on this, I'm a genuinely good person. That's just me. I will, even in a situation where they might be offering me ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 to do something, if I feel like the energy is not right, or if I get a red flag from it, or if I notice something that ain't adding up, I got people that's in my corner that'll tell you I back all the way out. It's no amount of money that can be offered to me for me to be, uh, I just can't be a snake. I just, that, it's just not, it's just not in me, bro. I, I, I just, I can't be that person. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't be that person, you know, because I think too, you have to look at, you have to look at life. Like I come from the slums. I come from the trenches. I never lied to you guys about that. So I can say that like that. I come from nothing, humble beginnings, very much so. So to be in the position that I'm in right now and to be able to experience love and freedom the way that I experience it right now. I can't afford to be negative. I can't afford to hoard negative energy. I, you know what I mean? Let me tell you one of my biggest fears. One of my biggest fears is this. I feel like if I hoard the negative energy, if I give life to that and I hold on to it, then I'm going to infect the people that I'm connected to, if that makes sense. I feel like if I'm doing... If I'm holding on to that and I'm giving that, then I'm, I'm infecting my whole connection. And I pride myself on being a role model. I pride myself on doing the right thing. I pride myself on being a, a stand-up individual, a person that my people can trust, a person that my people can pour into and that they can love and that they can say without a shadow of a doubt, like, yo, that's my coach. And I appreciate that. When I see them on different platforms and they like, yo, that's my coach, that's my coach it's millions of people that are claiming me to be uh, um, this person of of purpose in their life so much that i can't afford to like i can't afford that i can't afford to hold on to negative stuff i can't afford to i, I don't even watch the people that i'm around and that's real. I don't connect myself to a lot of people. I don't hang out with a lot of people. I don't do all of that stuff because I'm like, 
no, nah, I pray for me and the people that's connected to me. You know what I'm saying? A exactly, friend. I cannot afford to backtrack. I can't afford to backtrack. And 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 my worst thing is I don't want to give. I don't want to give any of that energy to my people. You know what I mean? Um, can you ask a question? Yes, you can ask a question. X Bank S Bank Twelve. What's your question, real quick? What's your question? What's your question? S Banks. I'm looking for S Banks question, Josh. If you see her come up uh, with her question, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to grab it. Let me see. Uh, did she come? We're going to give her a second. She says, I'm a Christian counselor. Can we please be friends? My love, we are definitely friends already. We are friends already. For sure. For sure. You know, as banks, we went. Okay, I see it right here. She said, Have you ever been in a situation where someone used their depression to guilt trip you? Girl, listen, that's what me and Ashley was just over be here telling y'all about you know what i'm saying that's the same thing that we were just talking about like you gotta understand you gotta know when to help and when not to you know what i mean when we were talking about taking accountability and stuff like that that's what we're talking about you gotta be mindful not to continue to throw your pearls to the swine because what happens is some people are comfortable not growing some people are comfortable in the stagnated state some people don't want to be fixed they don't want to get over depression they don't want to get over stress and anxiety they don't want to move away from those type of things because they are already in a place right now where those things is what's bringing them attention so they hold on to that and don't want to heal and they they hold on to that broken state so that they don't have to take the responsibility of doing the right thing but what i am going to tell you is that i ain't a trip ain't a guilt trip too deep uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For me to be traveling, baby, I want you to understand that you're two finger swinging expeditiously aboard that mission. Get up out of there. Unplug from them right now today. If you see a person that's that, you know what I mean? Because what you won't do, you won't hold me hostage in the things that got on to you. Things that you went through, your yesteryears, your yestertears, your one time at band camp stories. Baby, you're not going to hold me hostage by things that you went through. If you're not trying to grow, if you're not trying to evolve in life, if you're not trying to heal, then you're going to have to get away from me. Whatever it is that you're suffering through, that's what me and Ashley was talking about. Baby, I'm not about to attach myself to you. You still got things in your yesteryears that you still crying about. You still got things in your life that you still ain't let go of. I'm over here. I'm cutting loose my demons. I'm laying at the rest, baby. I'm getting rid of my generational curses. I'm over here reaching for things that folk told me that I never have experienced in life that folk told me I never have experienced in a joy that folk told me I never have. And you think for one second because you choose to be depressed that you gonna make me depressed with you? Oh, the devil is a lie, baby. Two fingers swinging. I'm up out of there. That's your answer to that. That's how you handle that, baby. Bye. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to leave you right over there, baby, because that's just what it is. I'm not about to let you do that to me. But see, you got to be careful of those type of people. Some people, like I said yesterday, some people want you to be stuck. Some people want to keep you in that same exact position. They want you to stay there because what we said, misery loves company. And as long as you come over there to attend a pity party, they gonna have the pity party for you to attend. As long as they, you come over there every time that they over there whining and crying and I want to do this and I want to do that and you come right over there running, guess what? You might as well go ahead and sit on back down right over there with them because you're accompanying the BS. You gotta be an action friend. That's the type of friend that I am. My friends know don't even call me about the same situation over and over because I ain't got no conversation for you. I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is the first time. That's what it is. I'm gonna air it out the first time. I'm gonna give you what you need the first time. And if you decide to stay in that situation going forward, ain't no need you come talking to me about it because I don't wanna hear about it. Call me when your U-Haul is up against the dough. Call me when you your boxes are already packed and stacked and all we gotta do is one, two step. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to be that individual that's over there stuck with you. I'm not trying to be depressed with you. I'm not trying to be stressed out. I'm not, no, I'm not doing that, baby. Mm-mm. That's how you handle that, babe. You got to get on through, especially when you know they're using it to guilt you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about to do it. Mm -mm. He realized I'm happy being with myself after he thought he had me broken. Girl, don't even start with me because I just dropped the video about that. I sure enough did, and that's exactly how I feel about it. Folk will go outside of their way. They will go outside of their way, and they will leave you out there in the cold. Go to Instagram. The video is up. They will leave you out there in the cold. They will leave you out there to freeze. They will leave you out there alone. They will leave you out there by yourself. 
yourself. And then they will get mad at you when you find yourself a hoodie, you find yourself a blanket, you find find yourself a little piece of fire. Baby, that's so, yeah, yeah, yeah. How you mad at me? How you mad at me for learning how to warm up myself? How you mad at me because I didn't go out there and I didn't fade away like you hoped that I would or I didn't fall into that ditch that you dug for me? You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah, you got to be careful about people, honey. You got to you got to be careful about people, honey, because that's what they'll do. They'll take you out there. Once they get you out there, they want to see what's going to happen from it. But see, now that you out there and he already made his decision, you owe it to yourself, though. Make sure you don't do yourself a disservice. You owe it to yourself to keep right on going. You owe it to yourself to continue to show up for you. You owe it to yourself at this moment. You already know the type of person that he is. You already know how he set you up. So now it's up to you to take accountability and ownership of your life to say oh baby that right there that's the end of that that right there won't happen again and sometimes that's what you got to let folk know oh yeah that's the end of that because it's a lot of end of a lot of stuff in my life that folk don't even know they didn't even know their time was running as short as it was but baby you got one time to cross me you won't talk to me like you like you crazy you won't talk down to me you won't try to make me feel like i'm less than you won't try to belittle me you won't try to slander me you won't try to discredit me or discredit my efforts any of that any anything that falls in those lines will get you cut loose from me. I'm trying to tell you, I ain't trying to play with folks at all. That's what I'm not about to do. But y'all, I got to get up off of here. I can't even believe y'all kept me on here for two hours. Y'all, it's been about two hours, y'all. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna even front. If it ain't been two hours, y'all, it's been an hour and a half. And we never on live that long. I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. We about to get up off of here. So I want to tell you guys, I love you. Every single day that you wake up and you put 10 toes to the ground, do me a favor. Sweat yourself. Tell yourself how beautiful you are and how much you love you. Because there's no love like self-love. And you first have got to love yourself way before you were able to love anybody else. Friend, it's really been two hours. Y'all know, I, oh my God, man. Man. Friends said it's been a great two hours. You ain't kidding because we still at 500, man. So, hey, hey, hey. Some of y'all definitely be ha been hanging out. So, I appreciate all the love, all the support. But if I gave you what you needed this morning, if I blessed your soul this morning, go ahead and send me some love across the screen real quick. Send me some love across the screen real quick. If I gave you a confirmation, if I danced around in your house, if I danced around in your relationship, if I exposed some things, some truths for you, send me some love across the screen real quick. Send me some love. Thank you so much, Kelly. I appreciate the mic. Oh, G, I ain't even see you on here at first. Good morning, love. What's up, Nish? I appreciate you. Uh, when is a uh, uh, a thousand fairy? Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for the flowers, y'all. I appreciate that so much. I see them hearts double tapping on that screen over there. Go ahead. That's Miss Wal uh, Walton. Thank you. Christina, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? I see y'all, man. Go ahead and love me down real quick. Go ahead and double tap on that screen real too. I'm trying to see if we can get up to 400K real quick. Double K. We're going to see if we can get up to 400K on those likes real quick. Double tap, double tap, double tap. Ma uh, madam, thank you. Madam Truth, I appreciate that love. Cloud Sydney, thank Oh, man, JC with another money gun. Let's go. Let's go. That's how you do a Friday. I'm going to tell y'all what I'm going to do with my little gifts, though. I'm going to tell you in a minute. I, I'm going to give my gifts first because y'all laughed at me about Golden Corral, but I'm going to Golden Corral. Let me tell you that right now. I'm going to Golden Corral. I don't care about none of that. And I'm going to get me some of them dinner rolls from up up in there. Y'all know they got the best dinner rolls. Go to crowd. Really need to give me a sponsorship because I've been telling y'all about them for about five years. They need to stop playing with me. What's going on, Antoinette, with the flowers? D-Lo Queen, thank you so much, man. Always speaks through the love. Man, you know, I don't know nothing but love. I told you guys, I'm fueled by love, man, by love, peace, and positivity. Those are my three Ps, man. I, I, I love it. Like, if I could, I'm telling you, if I can definitely do what I do right now, if I could do this all day, then that's exactly what it'll be. Every single day, every single day, if I could just do what I'm doing right now, that's exactly what it'll be. It says, where do you live? I am out of Columbia, South Carolina. Columbia, South Carolina, my love. It says, um, I left and went to a meeting and came back and you stay <laughs> man listen friend you know i ain't never been live this long but we was having some good conversation man we had some good guests that came in man um uh loving single ashley she came on and we kind of like you know she gave some good points man and we talked for a bit so yes it, it took some time i had mike hooter who is a podcast owner i was a feature on his podcast he came on you know what i'm saying and um i had another person but i didn't grab his name he was actually going live from somebody else's account and he basically just wanted to come in and, and show his love and his support so you know it just took us a while to get this thing done today but i appreciate everybody so much man we almost there we have 367 double tap double tap double tap 
real quick double tap on the screen real quick um um oh y'all don't have a golden corral oh man i love it i love it man send the love from vegas all right do me a favor real thank you flowers bro i appreciate you i appreciate you thank you so much what up louisiana say so you are awesome thank you i appreciate you vegas what's up wait wait oh i'm i'm a Oh, Lord, we don't know what you're talking about, but we're going to go ahead and block you because I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Y'all, we at um, 379. All you got to do is double tap on the screen. Double tap, double tap, double tap. We at 380 real quick. I'm trying to get us to 400 and we out of here, man. 400 and we are out of here. 400K on those likes real quick and we are out of here. What up, Atlanta, man? Y'all only two and a half hours away from me. I'm always there. My family is right there in Lithonia. What's going on, North Carolina? You are inspired by your word. Thank you so much. What's going on, Detroit, Vancouver, Canada? I love you guys out there. Them. Thank you. Why um why are my tabs not showing up? I don't know why your tabs not showing up, love. Says um make sure y'all guys go and sign up for my Patreon. Keep in mind the link is right there in the bio. Link is in the bio for the Patreon. That gives you all of my live videos. That give you all of my rebuilding your foundation classes. It also gives you my uh, weekly so mental health support group that we do inside the Patreon every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It gives you um five dollars off of your purchases uh from the uh from my website 400k we are in there and i knew that we could do it i already knew that we could do it so thank you guys so so much man i appreciate you guys so much sign up for the patreon if you need life coaching sign up for that as well i love you guys so much and i will see you guys on monday on monday i'll be back on monday guys monday at 11 a.m you guys be good